all right so the necessary packages which we will be using there uh, you can write there sorry imports all right so we are gonna use here plotly first so you need to write there import plotly a dot express as px and then we will be using here import plotly sorry dot graph objects as go and then import plotly dot figure factory as ff from plotly dot subplots import make subplots all right so we'll be using this px and go to plot our data in a canvas and this will be used for setting some aesthetics and then finally this make subplots will be used to plot in multiple subplots all right so those multiple subplots like we did into our matplotlib in the same way we will be doing here let's go ahead now import the folium as well then we have here import folium now apart from this let's go ahead import here pandas as pd and then import numpy as np and then import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and then we will be here doing import seaborn as sns i don't think we need seaborn so i'm not going to use their seaborn and then we will be also needing here matplotlib inline as well all right apart from that we also need some essential package in this lesson so that i'm going to also import like import math and then import random and then from date time import delta and time sorry this is actually the time delta time delta is used to generate a custom date uh, custom dates like we did lin space in our um, python or numpy all right so these are the other essential libraries now i'm going to import here the color palettes why the color palettes need we need these color color palette because we will be also plotting the plots in multiple colors so i want to set these color palettes so we have here a cnf and uh, sorry this is the cnf in this cnf i have a color palette there 393e46 all right 393e then we have a 46 and then we have here dth color palette in this dth color palette i have ff 2e63 2e and then 63 apart from that we have also rec is equal to that generally we will be using for rectangle um has 21 bf73 21 bf73 all right so these color palettes actually you can change according to your color preferences so these are the uh, hex color patterns which i'm going to use here just for the simplicity so i'm going to just write those name here so that you can also follow along fe 98 and 01 all right so these are the color palettes which we will be using and finally let's go ahead and write some commands to hide the warnings as well so we can write those like import warnings 
and then warnings dot filter warnings all right so i'm going to filter those warnings which are just uh, just a warning and i'm just going to ignore those all right so here we are ready with our import packages let's go ahead and run this cell once you run this cell it will import all the necessary packages and it and if it gives any error during the import please uh, comment below and uh, in the question and the answer section then uh, we will be seeing that what are the errors there and so that we can resolve those all right so this is all about in this lesson thanks for watching i'll see you in next lesson where we will start data preparation